Bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning, believers. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior this morning. Glory be to God in the highest this morning. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Without Him, we are nothing hallelujah jesus without him we would not have been able to see this beautiful day glory be to god i am still in the land of the living if you know that you are still in the land of the living and that god is your keeper and that god is sustaining you this morning do not fail to say thank you jesus do not fail to say thank you lord for waking me this morning hallelujah to god do not fail to say thank you god in spite of my circumstance in spite of what i'm dealing with at work in the home even at my church wherever you have a situation this morning in spite of that situation you are alive on top of your grave and because you are alive this morning best believe that the lord will equip you with strength with endurance with wisdom with guidance to go through whatever you have to go through this morning glory be to god god is always preparing us god is always willing to direct us glory be to god there is a right and there's a wrong way to do things glory be to god and us as believers us as persons that really are contributing to the kingdom of god us who go about not as a mischievous persons or as a tail bearer but walk in the light but carry the fruit of the spirit the fruits of righteousness we know glory be to god that we are submitting our minds to God each and every day because what our mind think what is in our mind that we will act out that we will say and so we submit ourselves to God we submit our minds to the Lord that he will have dominion hallelujah to God that he will have dominion over our minds glory be to God that he will direct us that he will lead us into peace glory be to god this morning the lord just bless you this morning beloved have a great day this morning you know the bible verse for the day the reference scripture is from matthew 6 verse 6 and it says but thou when thou prayest enter into thy closet and when thou hast shut thy doors pray to the father which is in secret and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward you openly glory be to god and it's just a reminder this morning that you know you may not always look like you're pushing you may not always look like you are depending on God. You may not always look like you are really seeking God's counsel and his direction. But no, glory be to God, that while men look at the outward appearance, God, hallelujah, is in secret. Yes, God is in secret. He knows the secret things in the earth he knows you when nobody else is looking he knows you when you are on your knees at your bedside he knows you when you are overwhelmed and you don't know where to turn but you turn to the good book glory be to god but you turn to him in secret in prayer in lamentation glory be to god you turn to him seeking his counsel seeking his direction glory be to god and the father 
the father which seeth in secret shall reward you openly glory be to god don't always look to think that your reward will be of men glory be to god but god is the giver of good things god is the one that will cause all things to work together for your good and so when we submit our ways to god he will allow our desires to come to pass when we submit our ways to God, He will reward us. The Father which see it in secret, the Father that knows your trouble, that knows that you are looking to Him, that you are looking to the hills from whence come at your help. Your the Father which knows that you are literally hoping in him will reward you for seeking him for putting him first and for depending on him to be your way maker your protector your counselor the one that will bring restoration to you mentally emotionally physically financially the father would see it in secret shall reward you openly so don't mind what is coming up against you in the natural don't mind what they are saying about you in the natural change happens from the inside glory be to god change happens from the inside and when you begin to change and surrender your heart to the lord he will reward you beloved he will reward you hallelujah somebody say restore unto me the joy of thy salvation glory be to god this morning keep though keep me from presumptuous sins yes hallelujah to god this is our prayer when we go in our in our, in our closet glory be to god it doesn't have to be a, a physical closet but it is that quiet time that lonely time with you and the lord that is when we are most vulnerable that is when we are most honest glory be to god and that is when the lord glory be to god can mend us glory be to god because the bible said that he will not despise a broken and a contrite heart glory be to god so when you sacrifice yourself like that to the lord he will heal you he will reward you openly glory be to god glory be to god and only you alone know that when the joy comes that when the deliverance come it didn't just come this is something that is coming to me from the throne of god because i have been seeking him i have been in a secret with him and now he is rewarding me glory be to god god is a rewarder of good things glory be to god this morning beloved glory be to god this morning i don't know why i sound as if i'm rushing this morning <laughs> but i'm just i'm just happy i'm just happy to be in the land of the living this morning i'm just glad sometimes when i look over my life and i see all the different storms that i've been through mentally i know that it is god he's keeping me glory be to god god is god is my keeper god is the one that sustains me that keeps me glory be to god god is the one that kept me hallelujah his hand his favor is on me and i'm truly thankful for the way the lord looks after me glory be to god and so this morning beloved god is your rewarder hallelujah to god he will reward you openly this morning in jesus name be blessed be safe hallelujah